Yeah. Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. In this video, we will see the hormone. Glucagon is a hormone. Okay. Glucagon hormone, it is just like a glucose D. Glucon, that's why I have mentioned glucagon, glucon D. This is a hormone which increases the blood sugar, very dangerous for the diabetic patients. Okay, if you are suffering with very low blood sugar, then it is good. It is very dangerous for the diabetic patients. Glucagon is like a glucose D. It is a hormone. It increases the blood sugar level immediately. Like that you can, that's why here I compared with the, which is normally available glucon D. If you drink a glucon D immediately, your sugar levels will be increased. We know very well. So this is the syllabus as per uh, your university. And uh, here in the E, we can see the glucagon. Remaining all this part, different videos I made and already I uploaded. Okay, you just watch it. In this video, dedicated for this highlighted one, glucagon, red ink highlighted. Glucagon is a hormone, first point. Glucagon is a protein. Glucogan consists of a 29 amino acids. That's why it is called as a protein. We know proteins are made up of amino acids. Very simple. Okay. See, how many amino acids? 29 amino acids. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 29. See here, 1 and 2. Just like a single chain. Whereas insulin is a double chain. This works against the insulin. Glucagon. That is a double chain, two chain. This is a single chain. 29 amino acids. Molecular weight is 3,500, just a small chain, okay? Glucagon works against the insulin. Insulin is very good for diabetic patient. Glucagon is very dangerous for the diabetic patients. It is a hyperglycemic hormone used to increase the blood sugar level, this hormone. Discovered in 1923, insulin discovered in 1921. After two years, glucagon was discovered, okay? Our DNA, not only the hormone, in the lab also you can prepare by adding various chemicals like uh, our DNA technology, like biotechnology you can use and you can prepare the hormone also, glucagon hormone, you can synthesize in the lab by using a biotechnology, our DNA technology, recombinant DNA. This is naturally how the glucagon is released eh? from pancreas. Bang. Very important organ in our body. Bang. See, where is the pancreas anatomy? Here, exactly it fits in this curvature. This is the stomach. And this is the curvature, lower end of the stomach. In this curvature, junction part of the intestine and the, under the stomach. Exactly this curve, it fits into the pancreas. Pancreas fits in. Okay. Pancreas, the structure is like this. See how nicely the structure was I drawn here. And it consists of violet color spots. See here, violet color spots. These violet color spots are nothing but eyelets of Langer hands. Eyelets, highlights, highlights, this is like, like a light, violet color lights, highlights of Langer hands. Okay, Langer house, you know, in Vizag, Langer house is there, Langer house lights, like that you can remember easily. This violet color, one violet color cell, if I enlarge, you will get like this. See here, it consists of alpha cells. Again, mathematics came here. Alpha, beta, gamma, all this. See, here it consists of alpha cells. This is alpha cell. This is a beta cell. It is a, almost opposite of this color I have made. And a delta cell, no nucleus. See here, there is no nucleus in the delta cell. So alpha cell, beta cell, delta cell. These are the eyelids of the longer hands. Okay, it present in the pancreas. Pancreas is also called as a mixed gland. It is just like a mixed pickle because it consists of a exocrine part, endocrine part. You know that endocrine doesn't have any ducts. Directly it secretes into the blood hormones. Endocrine glands are nothing but a secrets the hormones. That hormones will be secreted directly into the blood. No duct, ductless glands. In our body, there is a number of glands are there. One is exocrine glands are separate, endocrine glands are separate. But pancreas, 
is a mixed gland it consists of a endocrine part as well as a exocrine part here you can see that's why here i showed mixed pickle mango pickle plus lemon pickle if you mix you will get a mixed pickle okay in the same fashion here you can see mixed gland pancreas is a mixed gland here you can see the exocrine part it releases the product like acne and the ducts will be there it produces a digestive pancreatic enzymes whereas a endocrine part is called as a islets of langer hans endocrine part it secretes directly hormones it produces the hormone this islets of langer hans consists of three cells alpha beta delta <coughs> here you can see the alpha cells beta cells delta cells alpha cells releases the glucagon beta cells releases the insulin and amylin delta cells see here s yes, delta s yes like structure it secretes the somatostatin this is the triangle love story between the beta cells alpha cells gamma cells all are the islets of langer hans not only beta cell number of students they are confusing that islets of langer hans means only beta cell alpha beta delta delta s yes. s yes, shape structure somato beta cells we know very well insulin and alpha just like a g structure alpha cells glucagon see this glucagon it works again as to the insulin it increases the insulin stimulation see here see plus mark plus mark plus mark red mark is called as a stimulation alpha cells stimulates the beta cells alpha cells stimulates the somatostatin whereas the alpha cells are inhibited by beta cell here and also inhibited by somatostatin also delta cells you got my point it stimulates both whereas it will be inhibited by both that is a logic what you have to keep in your mind in this way. so this is a pancreatic modulation of hormone secretion within the pancreatic islets of langer hans alpha beta gamma delta high glucose level in the blood stimulates the insulin release inhibits the glucagon release if you are taking a plenty of sugar 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 pancreas will start releasing the insulin because it has to compensate that's why it increases the insulin release okay whereas a glucagon inhibits the uh, high amount of blood sugar level if you are taking a sugar so much glucagon release will be inhibited here you can see the synthesis how it is synthesized in the body in the alpha alpha cells pre pro glucagon pre pro two are there pre pro glucagon this is a precursor in number of times it was appeared in competitive examinations okay precursor secreted by the alpha cells it is converted into pro glucagon pre will be removed so pro glucagon next pro will be removed so you will get a glucagon that's it yeah very actually i am in love with this first side love at first side with this diagram if you know this diagram you can able to write the running matter five pages kilometers together you can write the running matter that much of importance is there it's my uh, love and first side this figure okay see here color this orange color actions are stimulated by the glucagon whereas the ash color see this ash color these are the stimulated by the insulin both are opposite pakka opposite insulin and here you can see this is a liver this is a muscle this is adipose tissue here you can see glucosides amino acids fatty acid all food items divided into three category carbohydrates amino acids that is a fat fats okay proteins we know very well that three organs how these three types of foods will be manipulated how it is maintained by the two hormones insulin glucagon see here first you see the ash color glucose in the present which is present in the blood this is blood so glucose present in the blood will be uptaken by the insulin liver with the help of a insulin whereas opposite action orange color glucagon glucagon causes a increase of the 
blood glucose it releases the glucose from the liver to, into the blood so that blood glucose concentration will be raised in the same fashion it also see here amino acids converted into glucose gluconeogenesis neo neo glucagon again increases the this amino acids blood sugar level from the amino acid from the proteins from the protein see here and also from the fats ketones will be developed from the fats so all these are the important actions which are uh, you have to write in the examination it converts the fatty acids from adipose tissue into the ketones into the liver it converts the see here glycogen it converts the glycogen into glucose see here glycogen will become a glucose whereas the insulin is having a opposite action glucose will be converted into glycogen amino acids will be converted into glucose this glucose again released in the blood glucose see how many headache problems are there insulin glucagon balance very important see he see here glu see this diagram first glucagon is high no uh, sorry glucagon is less insulin is high see that's why this is a weight insulin weight is uh, more that means insulin is dominated in our body when insulin is dominated these things will happen increases the glucose oxidation glycogen synthesis fat synthesis protein synthesis will be increased if insulin is dominated see this diagram is opposite when glucagon is dominated in the body sugar he will become diabetic sure increases the gluconeo glucogen genolysis gluconeogenesis increased ketogenesis will be increased last what we saw in the last diagram same passion here also same okay metabolism is controlled by insulin and glucagon metabolism of the glucagon is controlled by the insulin and glucagon and that is total our body metabolism bmi body metabolism body mass index that is uh, uh, metabolic rate no body metabolic rate it will be controlled by only two things one is here i have shown insulin and glucagon yeah uses when you come to the uses is there any use of this uh, sugar sugar uh, that is a glucagon hormone hypoglycemia when patient is suffering with very low level of the blood vessels and he will fall down glucose is minimum you have to maintain in our otherwise you will fall down in such a cases you can you know it is called as a hypoglycemia in that hypoglycemia we are using this hormone only headings are important remaining don't read the, the running matter here okay uh, hypoglycemia used in the treatment of hypoglycemia if you want to increase the blood sugar level you take the glucagon hormone glucagon injection is available here you can see and cardiogenic shock see when glucose levels are less in our body there was a shock from the cardiogenic which is generated from the cardiac that is heart so here we can stimulate the heart in a beta adrenergic blocker treated patients okay cardiogenic shock treatment and also it facilitates the diagnostic also diagnostic center you know not a treatment diagnostic center you can they will do different tests in that glucagon is very important for radiographic examination of the upper and lower gat here you can see this is a, this image glucagon when they have given to a patient for the testing purpose only okay uh, they they can find where the, this glucagon uh, entire structure of the stomach structure of the uh, lower intestine upper intestine can be find so it is a glucagon is very important a diagnostic agent other hyperglycemic other than the glucagon is there any other drugs other agents which increases the sugar level in the body diazoxide number of times it was appeared diazoxide you will become a diabetic diazoxide dia that's why keep in your mind diazoxide dia means diabetes so he will become diabetic increases the in somatostatin very important it causes a hyperglycemia primarily by inhibiting the insulin release in the examination number of times it comes definitely it comes okay sure damn sure insulin release will be inhibited by the somatostatin 
it is a hormone we know that delta cell uh, delta shape is yes yes shape streptozoin if you are using this streptozoin it, it it this is also appeared in the examination streptomycin is obtained from which organisms streptomyces acromogenes this point you have to keep in your mind okay so uh, we have completed a glucagon nothing not more than that uh, is important so thank you and i have end my session here